Yo, what's going on lads and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video what I have for you is a squad builder and this squad builder is roughly around 500,000 coins. A lot of people wanted to see me do a half a million coin squad builder, so here it is. Now I do want to quickly put a disclaimer. I may or may not have shushed a couple people in the uh, in the latter stage of this video, in the later stage of this video. I may, I may or may not have, uh, have shushed a player or two. Uh, it's currently 4am and I just wasn't having anyone's AI defending BS in this game. So I brought out the shushes. I brought out a couple dabs. I do apologise. Sometimes FIFA gets the better of me and I get a little crazy. I apologise. Anyway, let's get straight into this uh, squad. Now, it's a Brazil squad. It is a very, very nice squad. Uh, it's in the 4-2-3-1 formation. And uh, starting off on goal, we actually have Blue Allison Now, Blue Allison is really decent. However, he couldn't catch Ligma for a ninja stream. You know, he, he's, he can do everything but catch the ball. He just punches it or he double punches it or he just sort of slaps the ball out of the air, but he cannot catch anything. Uh, he couldn't catch a cold, to be honest, and it's just disappointing. However, he's a decent keeper, and he makes some fantastic saves. He's clumsy, though, and I say this about Allison all the time. I keep going back to him because I really do like Allison, but he's so, so clumsy, and it's super irritating because I really want to enjoy this card, but he's just incredibly clum uh, clumsy. Uh, in the right-back spot is Mariano. By the way, Allison's about 70,000 coins. Um... Then we have Mariano, who's decent. There's not a there's not a real abundance of decent Brazilian right backs in this game, so I went with Mariano. You could possibly do a hybrid and get somebody else in there. In fact, you definitely could do a hybrid and get somebody else in there. Um, but I went with Mariano. He's he's decent. He's got 92 stamina. That was the main selling point for me. Um, he just keeps running the whole game, which is great. However, he's pretty average at pretty much everything else on this game. At right centre back, we have gone with Thiago Silva, who I really like. Now, Thiago Silva is only six foot, however, he wins a lot of headers. He's got 90 jumping, 82 strength, only 74 stamina, but for a centre back, that's not actually too bad. Um, decent pace stats as well, but he's got fantastic defending stats, and I really thoroughly enjoy this card. He's just absolutely amazing, um, and one of my favourite centre backs that I've used. And I didn't think I'd say that about Thiago Silva, because last year I hated the man. However, he just seems to be a lot better this year. Um, it seems like the smaller centre backs aren't just completely bullied by muscular players this year. Uh, he seems to win a lot of headers and jumping stats seems to be very important this year. So big fan of Thiago Silva, definitely worth the coins. And on the left, we have got Miranda, who as well is a very, very solid player. Only six foot one, pretty small defense, but they're really good. They are thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable to use. Um, Stamina's a little bit less on Miranda, not going to lie to you, uh, and it, it is noticeable. However, he still is pretty decent, and his defending is, is honestly impeccable. He's fantastic at defending, and it's, it's, it's almost immaculate, really. And having those two at the back, they just clean up like it's nobody's business, and I genuinely think that if I could get this on my road to glory, I would get that back line because it is solid. It's absolutely solid. Now, at left back, we have got Alex Sandro. This guy is the best left back on the game, without a shadow of a doubt. High, high work rates, 92 stamina, 82 aggression, 79 strength and 79 jumping. Fantastic player, incredible stats all round, great, great left back. Definitely 10 out of 10 would use again. Honestly, amazing. If you guys have the coins, get Alexandro if you're rocking a Brazil team, a Serie A team, any, anything. You know, if you can get him in the team, get him in the team. He's 110% worth it now. Over on the right CDM spot, we've got a very interesting one, and it is Paulinho. I always told Paulinho was a good player by a friend of mine, so I tried him out at CDM, and he's actually a beast. Another one that's short, but he's actually incredible. He's just He just runs and runs and runs. He's got 92 stamina, 90 jumping, 81 strength, 81 aggression. Fantastic all around, really well-rounded stats, and he's absolutely phenomenal. Fantastic player, definitely worth the coins, definitely worth trying them out. If you can get him into a team, try him he is absolutely fantastic and i'd honestly say one of my new favorite cards this year he is phenomenal in midfield at cdm at cam at center mid he can do it all and he's absolutely fantastic definitely worth trying him out he's amazing um i'd probably rate him very similar to alan I'd say it's very difficult to tell them apart, and I would have had Alan in this team. However, there's too many short players, and I can't be doing with it. But um, definitely worth trying him out, because uh, he's definitely on par with Alan. Now, over at left CDM, as you already saw, we have got Casemiro. Um, 
Another only six foot one player, pretty short if you ask me. However, very good in-game stats. 88 jumping, 87 stamina, 89 strength, 87 aggression. Fantastic defending stats, decent reactions and composure, decent short passing and long passing, decent shot power and long shots. He is a really well-rounded CDM. I put a shadow on to improve his pace, so he gets, what does he get? He gets 72 acceleration and 73 sprint speed in game which is not bad at all if you ask me um and i think that he's actually a really incredible card i do really like this card at cdm i didn't get on with him in the first game however what i tried to do is instead of playing like he's n'golo kante or whether like i don't know he's fernandinho what i decided to do instead was i decided to play him as a just a so a, hol a holding cdm uh, a solid holding cdm is what i was trying to say um and he seems to just hold the park really really well he's a powerhouse in midfield and i do enjoy this card now over at left cam, we've gone with Fred. It's a weird one. I know it's a very weird one. Um, and I regret going with Fred, actually. I thought that it'd be a good idea to go with Fred to get a play with decent reactions, decent interceptions, decent stand tackle and marking, um, and just decent, like half decent defending stats. I thought it'd be a good idea because he'd then win the ball back whenever I lost the ball in the air, last third of the pitch, in the attacking end of the pitch. I thought he'd win the ball back quite a lot. He'd be decent for passing and dribbling. He's just kind of average, really, at Cam anyway. Maybe he's the best centre mid, but he's pretty average at Cam. Uh, didn't really do a whole lot for the side. Wasn't really that in, like impressed with him at all. I thought he was pretty average. Um, so I'd probably say Fred is a definite down vote. I'd go with someone maybe a little bit more pacey. Um, I'd probably go with maybe... Uh, if you can fit him in, I don't know, go with like a, go with Paulinho at Cam and then go with Allen at CDM maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Just go with something different to Fred because Fred was kind of very underwhelming. Uh, in the central CDM, sorry, in central Cam spot, we have got Firmino. Again, one of my favorite cards in this game. He's absolutely fantastic. 90 stamina, 81 jumping, 74 strength, 73 aggression. Very good at shooting, passing, dribbling stats. Very decent pace as well. Got a hunt card on him to improve pace. And in game, he gets 87 acceleration and 86 sprint speed. And it is genuinely noticeable as well. His finishing is immaculate. It's fantastic. Very good long shot. Very good at time for nest shots as well. And he partners absolutely fantastically with the right cam. That is, as you all saw, inform Anderson Taliska. AJ3 was raving about this card. He was saying how good Anderson Taliska is. So I had to pick him up. And he's got incredible face card stats, incredible in-game stats as well. And he's just an absolute beast all round. He is phenomenal. You'll see a lot of good clips with him in this game in these episodes, sorry. Um, in the highlights, even I can't even speak. Um, this guy is amazing. This guy is absolutely amazing. He holds the midfield fantastically. He's got a power shot of dreams. He's got really good dribbling. His ball control is fantastic. His free kicks is fantastic. And he's just a very, very good player. Very enjoyable to use. And I thoroughly, thoroughly wish that I could pack this card of the Road Glory because that would be absolutely fantastic. Now, to round this team off, we've gone with a short, pacey striker in Gabriel Jesus. And I was very impressed with Jesus. Now, I've used Jesus before. And I was kind of like... He was kind of average for me. I used him up top with a Bamiyang and they were a decent partnership, but Jesus didn't really hold his end of the bargain. However, on his own, he was very, very good. Actually, very enjoyable to use. Now, I thought that he was a lot better on his own than he was with uh, a Bamiyang. Excuse me, a Bamiyang. Um, he's got very good in-game stats and he's got decent finishing shot power. He's got decent ball control and dribbling. Very good composure and balance and agility. And he works really well in this uh, three-cam trio setup because he's got two pretty tall cams. We've got Fred, who's kind of mediocre, but we've also got a short pacey striker and it just works really really well the passing play is fantastic now in terms of custom tactics these are the custom tactics i went and used i used balance offense uh, ba balance defense with them um, four from the right in width and depth then in offensive style i went with fast build up i went with a lower width but I went with uh, more plays in the box for corners and free kicks and decent plays in the box just for crosses. And it seems to work really, really well. It's got quick build-up play for attack. And it's just the passing play is really nice. And the, the, the fluidity in the movement is very nice. So I'm going to leave you guys with some clips. If you guys did enjoy this video, you want to see more in-depth squad builders like this, let me know down below and let me know what kind of teams you guys want to see. I'll be very interested in seeing that. Thank you all for watching this video. And I'll see you lads later. Roberto Firmino. Shot on! Comes out off the goalkeeper. Oh, he's put it into his own net. Roberto Firmino. The shot's on! And they managed to score here. That's the moment.
that he would have dreamt about, I think, last night in his sleep if he slept at all before his debut for his new club. A debut day goal. Yeah. Roberto Firmino. That, here's the chance. Goal! Well, it's the dream scenario. Scoring on your debut, it takes so much of the pressure off. Gabriel. Gabriel Jesus! Well, it is an equaliser that looked on the cards, I must say. As the game went on, you just wondered whether they would get frustrated. But now they're in a position, having equalised, to go on and try and win it. Interception here. Roberto Firmino. Another shot. And the ball's gone out for a corner. Gone short with the corner. Thiago Silva into the lead they go. It's a fine, well worked goal. The team that's looking well oiled and looking very well drilled. That Maybe. earlier incident, yellow card. He's one of my favourite refs. He doesn't miss much this lad. Oh, this could be the moment when he can put his team in the lead here. Oh, the bastard must take the lead here. Which they do in good style. Uh, they played some good football leading up to that Martin and thoroughly just trying a bit too hard trying to force the pass and it went to, straight to an opponent. Roberto Firmino, we can put them in front. It's a goal and they're in front. through them, but they haven't, and now they can get on the ball and play. Now the shot! It's in! Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead.